Hey there friends, what's going on? It's Kodiak here, back for another Assassin's Creed Valhalla video, and today we are talking about yet another unreleased item in the game. But first off, I want to give a huge shout out to good guy Danny who taught me all the tricks of the trade so that I can show you guys these leaked unreleased items before anybody else. And I'm really excited about this one because as you guys know, if you've watched any of our videos, I am an archer at heart. I love hunter's bows, and that's exactly what we're talking about today. Now, what's so funny is that this bow actually ties in perfectly with Scaddy's blade. That's the unreleased Dane Axe that we talked about in the last video. If you haven't checked that one out, definitely give it a watch. Now, the Ein Hajar bow, as I mentioned before, is a hunter bow. It's part of the wolf tree, and it's got the same effect as Scaddy's blade. It increases your range damage in this case when close to full health. 90% threshold, you're gonna get a flat plus eight range damage. And I'll tell you guys right off the bat, that plus eight is a little low for me. I don't think that's really where this bow should be, especially if it's a bow that ends up in the Ubisoft store. There's just not enough here that would ever convince me to buy this bow. If that was a plus 15 or even a plus 20, well, that's a completely different story. The Einajar bow just fits perfectly with everything we talked about the other day with Scaddy's blade. With this playstyle, you're always going to be topped off because you always want those flat effects to buff your character. So if you're staying above 90% and you're using Scaddy's Blade and the Ein Hajar bow, you're getting a damage boost. And that's exactly what this bow is meant for, that exact playstyle. Now, of course, we can talk about runes as well. The same runes that we talked about in the last video apply here. The Stalwart Swiftness rune, which increases your speed when close to full health, probably doesn't have as much implication with a bow, but there is a speed component to using Hunter's bows, so this could become a factor. You could also consider the Stalwart Fury Rune, which I think is a more practical solution here, increasing your attack when close to full health, so you're getting more damage from your arrows. In terms of playstyle with this bow, it's really quite simple. Stay topped off and kill from the shadows. It's not necessarily a stealth bow by any stretch. You can use it in combat, you can use it from stealth locations, but it really is meant to be used in a situation where you're not going to be taking damage, and the best way to not take damage is to not attract any attention. Now, when I was testing out the bow, I was actually using the Huntsman armor, which gave me an additional attack increase when killing enemies from 20 meters or more away, and that actually worked out really well. At max upgrade level, plus all of the stats that I have and skills that I have, honestly, I was killing things left and right. And that has a lot more to do with the fact that I'm much further along in the game in terms of the skill tree and things like that. But the bow is good. It's definitely not overpowered. It's definitely not broken by any stretch of the imagination. But I could easily see this tying into a playstyle in one way, shape, or form. Now, the same rules apply here as they applied in the Scaddy's Blade video. This bow, the Ein Hajar bow, is not in the game yet. We don't know when it's coming to the game. We don't know if it's going to be part of the store, possibly part of the River Raid update, but I would expect to see this one sooner rather than later, specifically because there's already an Ein Hajar set in the game, and it kind of seems weird or odd that this one is not part of the game, unless they decided to pull it, in that case, we may never see the Ein Hajar bow in the game. But honestly, I don't think you guys are missing much. It's a niche bow based on your play style, but honestly, it's a kind of mediocre bow in the right situations. It's good, but ultimately never really rises to the top. Now, of course, guys, I don't want to drag this video on for 20 minutes. There's no point for that. So I will leave you with a little bit of gameplay and a couple screenshots that I took. And as always, friends, if you guys do like this video, please consider hitting that thumbs up and, of course, subscribing for more Assassin's Creed content in your feed. Totally free for you and really helps out the channel a ton. My name is Kodiak, and from everyone here at Legacy Gaming, thanks for watching and play on.